60-second economics on crowding out. Well, here's the key diagram. The equilibrium interest rate is determined by the interaction of demand for and supply of loanable funds in the country's financial system. So here the rate is R1. Now, in this diagram, higher government spending and borrowing shifts demand for funds outwards, therefore raising interest rates. And an increase in borrowing costs can then discourage private investment and consumption. Of course, Keynesians argue against crowding out. They believe that under certain conditions, increased state spending can stimulate investment rather than reduce it. This is called crowding in. Government spending creates jobs and increases incomes via the multiplier, and higher incomes can then lead to increased consumption, which drives up private sector demand and investment through the accelerator. And higher incomes causes the supply of savings to grow, which increases the supply of loanable funds. And if we think about global capital flows, when international capital markets are open, a government can attract foreign investment to finance its fiscal deficit. So the increased supply of loanable funds from overseas can help to keep domestic interest rates lower, reducing the crowding out impact on private investment.